We're gonna start from the bottom, and we're gonna start with just picking up a leg and pointing and flexing through the foot. So just look down and start to warm it up. Engage your core so you're starting to warm up balance. And breathe. If you're gonna fall, just grab the wall. <laughs> and go to the other side. <laughs> the imaginary wall. <laughs> It's in my, my corner, I'm surrounded by the walls. <laughs> Flex and point, good. Nice, and then we're gonna switch side to side. So it goes right, left, side, side, so. And you're just taking the toes to one way, toes to the other, nice and gentle. Good, about 10 times, and then you do the other side. So one, two, right and left, just to warm up feet. Good. Nice, bring it together. We're just gonna go up onto the ball of the foot, up and down, just little calf raises. Warming up the feet too. Four, good. Five, six, remember to engage the glutes. Pull up in the abdomen as you do it. Seven, eight, nine, good, and 10, nice. Bend your knees, you're just bending into a squat and holding, engage your core. Sit back, and if you can, take the arms over the head, reach your fingertips nice and strong, and hold for 10, nine, you got it, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, wrap your arms behind you, take a clasp and swing a little bit side to side. You can move the knees if you want to. Right and left. And breathe. Good. Take it back to the center, pull the arms back, look up, stretch through your um, collarbone. Good, and release, just let that shake out. Head isolations, right, I mean, um, dropping them right and left. Just going on your own timing, maybe faster, slower than me, whatever works. Make sure you're breathing, take it back to the center and down and up and lift. Good, about three or four times. And then take it back to the center and we're gonna take the arms out to the side, fingertips are up, and you're just gonna roll your wrists. So pinkies go in first, or thumbs, whatever you started with. And let's go the other way, so a little bit of joint isolation. So thumbs going in, it just feels pretty awkward when I do it, but. <laughs> Good, last stretch. Right arm over left, move back up. Give it a little push. Keep your back straight when you do this. And breathe. Nice, and then just switch to the other side. Good. We're gonna take it down to the ground to start with some core. So nice and simple, starting here. You need your block um, pillow or, or ball in a moment, so just you might want to have it close to you for this. So engaging your core, you're going to lift up on your shoulder blades. Try to get the shoulder blades off the mat, just lifting up. Big exhale and hold. That's all you're doing. Good. Let's do it together. Up, big exhale and hold. Pull navel the spine. It gets harder, trust me. <laughs> Good. We're going from there, off to one side and circling ten times one way, so ten circles. When you come up, it's a big exhale to hold as you move from one side to the other. Exhale to hold, ten one side, and then you go to the other, ten the other side, so it's a total of twenty. Nice and strong. So that exhale hold is at the top. Exhale hold, 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 release. As you circle, exhale, hold, 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 hold. As you're holding, that means you're pulling navel to spine, but your exhale can be a long exhale. I mean, by holding is pulling the navel to the spine. Inhale to the bottom. After you've gone 10 times one way, go 10 times the other. Nice and strong. Good. Once you've done it, you're gonna come into a forearm plank. Warming up your side plank dips right here. You're dropping down and you're lifting up. You have 15 on each side. So just down 
and up. Make sure you're maintaining a straight head and tailbone. There's a tendency to tuck the chin when you're watching on the camera. So try to stay nice and straight. So you have 15 on one side, uh, side dips, and then 15 side dips on the other side. Good. Just get some core warmed up today. Get into the body, breathing. Let go of any thoughts of the day you have. The sun came out, it was 50 degrees. Oh, the snow's melted. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's take it into plank, and then the next thing we'll do, you'll use this block, ball, or pillow. So plank position, shoulders are over wrist, engage your core, nice and strong right here. You're just going back onto the ball of the foot and forward onto the toes. Back onto the ball and onto the toes. A little bit more foot workout as we do it. You've got 30 of these, so 30 rocks. You can do it on your forearms if you're, you don't want to be on your palms today. So forward and back 30 times. Good. You got it. Awesome. And when you're done, feel free to stretch out in the downward dog or um, in your wrist. Whatever feels good. <laughs> Strong core. This is also good for warming up the wrist. Good. And breathe. So here is where we will grab um, the block, ball, or a pillow. I'm going to use the block today. Um, you can use whatever you want. So hands are behind your head in the block pillow or ball goes in between your inner thighs. So that's your inner thighs, not your knees. It's, a, it's just a little bit below the knees. And lift up with your shoulder blades. Again, you've got that exhale. We're going to start to lift the legs up off the ground. So you have exhale, legs come up, inhale, legs go down. That's it. Exhale, legs go up, inhale, legs go down. We're starting with that. Just go for 15. Really important when you exhale that you try to flatten your lower back on the ground to lift the legs up. Give a little squeeze of the block tiny. I mean, it's just enough to make sure it doesn't fall. Or pillow or ball. It's not about really working the thighs. It's just to give that little squeeze. So you're hugging everything into what they call the midline. There's the squeeze in and up is the idea of that squeeze. Just tiptoes touch, so you can just exhale to come right back up. Nice and strong. Good. When you finish, we're moving on a little bit. Just put your block, your ball off to the side. We have two more exercises. You come into your forearm plank again, right here, and you're dipping down and lifting the leg up. One. And you have 15 each side. Two. If you don't want to lift the leg up, you're just back to dips. Three. Four, you might start to feel this here. Also, that's um, working in your thigh. Good, in the abduction. I feel it really intensely in my lower thigh. Um, but because it's, since I'm lifting the other leg up, it's stabilizing. So you've got 15 each side, and then you switch, and you go to the other side, and then you have 15 on the other side. And then we have one more abdominal before we're going to get up and do some, uh, some more boot camp work. You got it, good. Nice. Um, we're do the last thing. So the ball, the chair, pillow, whatever you've got goes in between your shins right here. So it's a little bit higher, flex your feet. 
Lift your head up, big exhale. You lower the legs down. You bring it back up and twist towards the right or left. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, bring it back up. Twist towards the other side. And you have 30 total. Inhale, down. So the exhale engages the core. The twist engages your oblique. Try to get the shoulder blade off of the ground of the elbow that's twisting towards the center. And you have 30. Good. Really practice that. Pulling the belly in. That's why we started with that. Pulling the belly in. Nice. <laughs> Good. Nice core work, it'll help with balance. Big exhale. Good, when you're done, you can stretch it out. Hoping that the block helps a little bit to relax in the hip flexors or the ball. That was the idea. Um, so just stretch it out. Bridge pose if you want, or you can do a cobra right here. Elbows are on the ground right underneath the shoulders. Push down on the elbows, roll the shoulder blades back, squeeze the glutes, and stretch. Both of those are great. Great abdominal stretches, whichever one you want to do. Bridge, cobra, or both. All right. And we'll bring it up. You don't need your block or a ball anymore. So we're going to move into some 30 um, series. And this is um, just a workout. It's just a plain workout. So grab your weights for the first one. We've done this once before. It's 30 seconds. Um, off to the side, you bend your knees, a lateral lunge. And then you're taking it back to the center. It's a lateral lunge. You do this at the Tabata. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We do it four times. All of it four times. And then we switch to another one. So this is a, more like a real Tabata where you do the same thing over and over and over again. All right. Um, so here we go. And I'll give you five, four, three, two, one, and go. So just lateral lunge with the fly, side to side. Yeah, great. And also, if you have more space, you could do a step out side to side. So you would just step together and then step out. And step together, step out. Whatever you have room for, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so do whichever one you want to do. You could do side to side or the step out, yeah. <laughs> Depending on how much space you have. Good, and here's your rest. You just rest and you do the same thing again. This is more about supposed to work the arms, so if your legs don't want to do it, just do the arms. Good, and go. I'm gonna try this one. They're both really effective. <laughs> I like this because you can do it in a very small space. Good. Nice. Make sure you've got your weight going backwards even when you step. Weight goes backwards. Awesome. There's your break. Then we do it again. <laughs> This is when it's supposed to start to burn. <laughs> Three, two, good. And here's your breather. And you'll have one more. 
and you're just going to keep the weights after this. We're going to go straight into the next one. I'll tell you what it is at the 10 second break. Here we go. Good. Keep it up. Nice. You're almost there. Two. Great. Lunging backwards, arms in front. Right and left. And that's it. Then we'll give the lunge a break. Go. <laughs> so. Up in front. As the leg goes back, palms face down. That's it. Good. Nice strong core. You got it. Perfect. Whoop. And there's your breather. Just take a moment. Grab some water if you want some. <laughs> Here it is. Go. You have two more. <laughs> yeah. And go. Great. Keep it up. Five seconds, you got it. Good, and here's your breather. Deep breath. One more, here it comes. Go. you and you just pull back that's your first one now we switch this one off on the second one you do triceps but we'll start with this so just back so this is working your back could you see yeah I just realized I was a little too forward so you want to feel it along back here and that's where you're pulling it back. And take a break. What do you see here? The 10 seconds. And we go into overhead with triceps, arms together. So just like this is what you're going into. Here it comes. Good. And then we switch between those two for the next, um, to make it be full eight. So for the next seven, really. We're working a lot of uh, arm muscle groups that aren't often worked. Um. <laughs> and the back. Good. And breathe. And you're back into the back. And once you hear the beep. And go. Good, you got it. Whew, a 
start to feel this one about the second time. <laughs> the first one, I'm like, oh, this feels so nice. And the second one, I'm like, oh, yeah. Feel that in my arms and my back. Good, that's your beep. <laughs> We're into the triceps. Go. You got it. You just go to the lower set. So a little squeeze in the shoulder blades. Good. Woo! All right. <laughs> Here it comes. Triceps. Doing good. And go. You can do it, you've got 10 seconds, nice and strong, keep it up. Woo, yeah. All right, we've just got two more. <laughs> two more, that's it, you can do it. <laughs> Good, and go. Keep pulling it back, you got it. You've only got 10 more seconds. Nice and strong, really push into that burn that you're feeling in the back, in the back of the arms. Good, and here's your beat. Great, and we're gonna finish it off with some triceps. <laughs> and go. Nice. You got it. Keep it up. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we're going to take a breather because we have a little switch. Um, and you can put the weights down. So take a moment to take this breather, grab some water, and stretch your arms, especially the triceps. <laughs> um, this next one um, has a wall sit in it. So find a spot on the wall for it because your wall sit's coming in. Um, also, if you wanted to like use this since we already found it today, you could use your block, pillow, or ball and use it on the wall sit and keep that squeeze in. It's just a little bit more effective <laughs> since you already have it. All right, wall sit, you get up. Um, wall sit is four times, that's it. Just wall sit, release, wall sit, release, wall sit, release. By the end, I hope you're really feeling it. Here we go, four wall sits. Five, four, three, two, and sit on the wall. So if you have the block pillow ball, you can set it again in between the inner thighs. And you just maintain that tiny squeeze. Anywhere between inner thighs, um, all the way up to like right where the knees start with the inner thigh. And breathe. <laughs> Good, and there's your break. So take a breather. Having so 
something in between the thighs just makes it that little bit much more harder. Here it goes, go! Keep the back straight, open up, lift the collarbone, lower abdominals, pull in. So all that lower abdominal work we did, keep that active. You don't need to flatten the back, but keep pulling the lower abs in to engage the core. Great, and there's your break. Breathe, you have two more, that's it, nice and simple. Go. Woo, just remember to breathe. Maybe you can sink a little bit lower. Make sure you're in that 90 degrees straight. <laughs> Thighs are in a straight line. You could stand on them. Somebody could stand on them and be balanced perfectly. Awesome. So you only have one more. Um, and then we go into another one and I'll show you what it is. Go. Awesome. Keep it breathing, you got it. Great, nice and simple, no block. On the ground, you've got some bridges. Um, your feet are together, these are those butterfly bridges. Then you open up, it's coming, go. So up and down, so your feet are together. These are these butterfly bridges and the tops of the feet are together, and the bottom of the feet are a little bit like that, so that the knees are out to the side. And you're squeezing, using your maximus a lot more in this bridge. If you're a little confused what I'm talking about, just do bridges. <laughs> Good, nice, and let your breather. So we do these for four more times. I mean three more times. <laughs> Go! Relax your shoulders, tuck your chin in so that you're relaxing in the neck, back of the neck, and you're able to swallow as you work out. <laughs> Good, and take a breather. Here it comes. Go! Good. You got it, up and down, good, looking good, looking sharp, big squeeze at the top. Woo, good, one more, just one more. <laughs> Here it comes, and go. Okay, so after this, uh, grab your weights, and we're going to do some stuff with that, but you have one more, but I just want to let you know that. Good. So we're coming to um, another one. It's a uh, calf calf raises and grab your weights for this one if you want to use them um, to add just an extra bit to that. Um, because you take your arms out to the side. So up and down. 
and down. And it's four times through, so same series that we did. We've got one more. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to count you down. You've got five, four, three, two, and go. So as your legs go up, your arms go out. <laughs> So this is more about getting the calves. So if you start to feel like it's too much with the arms, you can do this with no weights. Breathe. <laughs> Go. Two more. <laughs> towards the ceiling when I come back down. Flat backs coming up and flat backs coming down, so, but nice and simple. Um, meaning like, don't just let it fall. <laughs> Good, yeah. Good, and breathe, and you just do this four times. Good. So I'm going to sit up once my shoulder blades leave the mat. I try to keep my back flat because I don't want to over curve too much and bring my shoulder blades forward. Same thing going down because it's just as hard going down as it is going up. <laughs> Good. You're doing great. You've got two more. Yay. Strong core. Go. Awesome. Yes. Up. Good. And strong core down. Nice. You can always do this with no weights. If you're doing everything with no weights, no big deal. Same thing. <laughs> Just as hard. <laughs> One more! Good! Whew. Sit up. Still a very effective core workout. Has been since the beginning of time. <laughs> Go! Awesome. 
So stand up and find some weights. And um, I'm going to do some legs and some core um, arms. So the first one is the core though. So you lay down on the ground, you flex your feet, and you're passing the weight between the legs and you come back and pass and come back. So you're going to do 15 times one way and then you just switch to the other way and back and back. Now if you have really long arms you might have to not have to do this tiny little crunch. You might just be able to pass it but I have to do a tiny itty bitty little crunch to get it. The ob object is, objective is, is that your sit bone I gotta my word today. Your shoulder blades stay off the mat, your chin stays tucked in, and you're just gripping and holding with your stomach and trying to not grip and hold too much with your hip flexors. Yeah. Nice and strong, beautiful. Keep it breathing, exhaling as you pass beneath your thighs. Good. So you're done. So you can take a breather and pull your knees into your chest. Just take a deep breath. Great. And we're going to finish with some great leg exercises in this tabletop position that I love so much, these leg exercises. Grab your weight and put it here in the crease if you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> um, the leg goes up. It points. The knee points up and it comes back down, and you've got 30, just like that. When you're done, you've got 30 out to the side, opening a little bit back and back down, and then you're gonna switch to the other side. So you don't need to wait for me, just go. You do not have to put your weight there, especially if the weight's too heavy. I can only do like two or three behind, so I just like to offer that, but you can also put your ball if you had a ball. I'm not too sure about a pillow or block. They might be too big for the hamstring. Just because I'm nursing a very tight hamstring that I don't want to get into an injury, I'm going to not use a weight. <laughs> it's not an injury yet, but I don't want to over push it. It might be because I go running. I think that's probably what it is. <laughs> Chasing a dog. So <laughs> that can really tire out the hamstrings. <laughs> Try to use your glute muscle also. That's really where you want to be targeting the most here is your glute lifting the leg right in that area where the sit bone is. And then when you go out to the side, a little bit to the back, so it's not completely straight out. It's like a little bit back and then back in. That's going to use the same muscle that we used when we did the bridges with the feet together. And then it's also going to use this, the, um, What's well, the same muscle that's going to use the maximus on the external rotation. Make sure that the knee that's on the ground is directly below the hip. So you've got 30, 30, and then you're just going to switch to the other side. Good. If you, you need a breather, you can breathe it out here. Break is nice. <laughs> Here we go. Other side. <laughs> Good, you got it. Keep it up. Nice strong glutes. <laughs> So we 
we see the sides. <laughs> Whenever you're done, um, you can come into a pigeon pose, either on your back. We do that one all the time, but you can keep going too. Um, but I'm going to offer up if you wanted to do this pigeon pose, which I don't do that often because it's a little bit more complicated for the knee, you could do this one too, which is the leg crossed in front and you walk over your shin. So normally we do reverse pigeon, but you could do this one. Just make sure that your chest goes over your shin if you're doing this one. It doesn't go over the knee. Common um, misconception is it goes over the knee, and it doesn't actually, because the knee stays in line with the hip up here. So if you wanted to do it um, a little bit different, switch up today. If it gives any pain in the knee, get out of the pigeon pose and go to the one on the back. So about three to five breaths. Let your head relax. You can always place it in your hands. And we're gonna do both sides. So wherever you're at, you're doing both sides. Either across your body or on your back. Yeah. And breathe. Deep breath, let the muscles relax. Good. And we'll take it to a seated position. Stretch the legs out in a straddle form and walk through the, the legs as far as you can go. It might not be that far, that's okay. And then drop the head so that it'll stretch through the back, neck some too. Keep breathing the chest closer to the floor without moving the sit bones. Good. Because we, we did some lateral lunges and a lot of work today on inner thighs and um, front of thighs, this should feel good for that. Feel free to walk to one side or the other if you want to or stay here for a few more breaths, whatever is good for you. Okay, and we'll slowly take it up and take it to a seated position. We're just gonna end with a twist just to get the back. So lifting the arms up, deep breath, twist, stretch to the right. We'll lift it up. And twist, stretch to the left. Big inhale, and big exhale. 